Hello everyone, I'm Stefan and in this screencast I will show you how DPP 4.0, the digital product passport for Industry 4.0, is used in the ZVI Showcase PCF at Control Cabinet to automatically calculate the cradle-to-gate product carbon footprint of this control cabinet. For this demonstration, we are taking the role of a system integrator, in this case a control cabinet manufacturer, and we are in the process of assembling this cabinet in our factory. We are using DPP 4.0 to create a digital twin of the cabinet and to calculate the PCF value automatically. At this point, the last product, the circuit breaker, was assembled physically. To include it in our digital assembly, we can use the QR code on the product, the identification link, which identifies the product and leads to the DPP 4.0. By scanning the ID link with an app, for example on a handheld device, the DPP 4.0 is retrieved, the product is added to the digital twin, and the PCF value of the control cabinet is automatically updated using the documented PCF value of this product. Let's take a look at the digital twin. What you can see in this dashboard is the digital representation of the control cabinet that is currently being assembled. On the left side, you find an overview of the products that are already installed in the cabinet, as well as the current PCF value for this state of assembly. Each product features the DPP 4.0 based on the asset administration shell, which can be displayed by clicking on the blue buttons. The PCF submodel contains the relevant information that is used to calculate the product carbon footprint of the cabinet. As mentioned before, we are able to add the circuit breaker as our last product digitally by scanning the ID link with our respective app. Now the circuit breaker is in our list of products and the PCF value represents the total value for the control cabinet. The dashboard demonstrates two more features of DPP 4.0. The first feature is the storage of DPP 4.0 information in a distributed manner. DPP 4.0 is not stored on a central database, but rather hosted by each manufacturer on their own infrastructure. This can be seen in the dashboard when inspecting the DPP 4.0 of different products. The information for the recently added circuit breaker, for example, is hosted by AVB, whereas the information for this interface module is hosted by Siemens. The second feature is the control of access rights for the DPP 4.0. At the moment, we are authenticated as Albert, who has access rights to all information in the DPP 4.0 of all products. However, Steven is sustainability manager and should only be able to access information that is relevant to verify the PCF calculation. Therefore, when we authenticate as Steven, the DPP 4.0 of all products is requested and some information of the DPP 4.0 of the product becomes unavailable as visualized with the red text as well as the padlocks. This demonstrates that not everyone who has access to the ID link on a product can directly access all information about the product. That brings us to the end of our screencast. Thank you for joining me and do not hesitate to contact me if there are any open questions.